Hi everyone, Vacha here from Recording Studio 9 and thanks for joining me again to the demonstration of the Casio's 85 Arabic and Oriental Scale keyboard. This keyboard packs so much uh, in itself that I may not be able to make uh, and cover everything in one video. If there is any interest, I might be able to do it in multiple parts. But this is going to be a quick overview of the keyboard, all of its cap uh, capabilities. It can do so much at the price. Um, when I purchased this a couple of years ago for 350 Australian dollars, for what it does, it's just unbelievably affordable price keyboard. So I will go through some of the uh, functions and features available on here and at the end of the video I will do a demonstration which is inside the keyboard to play for you so you can have a listen of its capabilities. Now the keyboard itself is 76 keys that they are touch sensitive and it comes with 250 rhythms where 50 of that is Arabic uh, and it's got world uh, rhythm there as well, as well as user rhythms. That means you can program your own rhythm and save it in there. So you can put your own drums, bass and other arrangements and save it in there. It also comes with 800 sounds and at least 100 of those are Arabic or Middle Eastern uh, uh, sounds and another hundred of oriental sounds in there as well as you are able to save your own tone combination inside. Now it comes with the standard intro, outro, uh, normal and variant of, uh, of the rhythm and fills, uh, synchro start and stop. The left hand side also allows you to do not only layers, that means you can have two sounds playing at the same time, it also has arpeggiator in there, over 100 uh, types of arpeggiators. Um, some of them which I have not even heard of and it's all available in there. Now on to your left, we have the, uh, the Arabic or Middle Eastern scale buttons where you can change the scale with a click of a button to go quarter note. Let's, uh, let's say and then I can go and straight away with just a touch of a button, no manuals to go through, nothing else, I can change the scale and also I can have up to four registration that I can by press of a button or automatically goes to that scale instead of just uh, using the buttons. But that's how it is, easy it is to change the scale of the keyboard. Now coming to the middle of the keyboard where the heart of it is, is an LCD display. It's not a touch screen, but it's got a lot of buttons around it. It guides you really well. Um, everything is very well laid out um, by choosing your tone and the rhythms. It's all displayed in words there. Uh, the tempo, the measures, the whole lot is in there. So easily be able to select a rhythm, use the dial, to find the right rhythm and then the tempo, it's all there. You can actually see and adjust and set. Same with the sound, easy to select which sound you want by using the dial or the numbering system and way it goes. It's really, really easy to select. It's really designed for on the fly, for live performance. Now talking about live performance, um, it has multiple connections at the back. Um, it has line level outputs, so you can connect to speakers and amplifiers for the PA system. It also has mic input as well as instrument input. So you don't need any mixer. Connect your dynamic microphone at the back, turn the mic volume up and your mic volume sound will come out of the line outputs into your speakers. You have a friend that actually plays the guitar in your band you can actually connect the guitar directly here. No pedals, uh, no DI boxes required or anything. Just connect the, key, uh, the guitar directly into here and it will feed out to the speakers. So microphone, guitar and keyboard and away you go. 
that's for live performance and you can adjust the volume. Now, having said that, it also comes with a DSB built in. It's got digital signal processing. So you can apply the delay, reverb, chorus, flange, not only on the keyboard and the different parts of the keyboard, the arrangement and your right hand side, but you can apply that to your microphone as well. So you don't need any effects box. Your microphone will actually have the digital reverb and delay effects being going out to the, to the speakers. So no mixer required. A three piece band will be able to connect all in and out to the speakers and way it goes. Now you have a backing track that you also uh, want to use, then it does have an auxiliary stereo in um, that you can plug in. Again, we'll also go to the to the uh, to the speaker. So you can connect your uh, let's say your um, uh, smartphone or uh, iPad, the output there and play your backing track on and you can join in with the keyboard, they automatically will go to the PA system as well. Now, coming up next, it does have headphones output, it does have a sustain pedal as well that you can use, and of course, it has a USB connection. And the USB connection serves two purpose. You can use it as a MIDI controller to play MIDI notes in your DAW on your computer, you can record MIDI notes and it becomes a MIDI controller. Uh, and easy as that. And the second option is um, it, you can use the USB connection to back up and save the settings on the keyboard. So all your perimeters, like the rhythms that you uh, created and the tones, user tones that you created, you'll be able to save back and forth onto your computer. Now, lastly, it also has an SD card that you plug in there where you are able to save things and load from them uh, from the SD card. Now, going back into its control system, it's got built in 16 track MIDI sequencer. So you can use the 16 MIDI channels to record your own MIDI sequencer in there and you are able to save that uh, in your SD card. Not only that, of course you can load and play back MIDI sequence, uh, uh, like MIDI files. You will be able to play that because it supports general MIDI. So you'll be able to just download MIDI songs from the internet, load it onto your SD card, plug it in, and you'll be able to play uh, those MIDI songs on the keyboard using its own sounds. Of course, you can go and edit it as well. Now, the other thing that it can do, it can also play audio from the SD cards. So you can put MP3 songs on your SD card, and then you'll be able to press the play button, choose the songs that you want to play, and it will play it for you. Now, whether you use that during your performance, or whether you use that as a, a, a background music while you're not playing, You've got the songs in there. Now wait one more minute. Remember I said it cost 350 Australian dollars to buy. It also has digital recorder in there. Not MIDI sequencer, but a digital recorder. You are able to record your whole performance onto the SD card as an MP3 file. Not only your performance, the arrangement, the right hand side, as well as the microphone, as well as the guitar that is plugged in there, recorded directly onto your SD card. And then at the end of the day, you have uh, your whole performance recorded on an MP3 with nothing else to use. Now, how good is that. There's no way you'll be able to buy something for that price as a brand new keyboard that can do all of that. So this keyboard can do so much. You might ask, why is it so cheap? Well, it's, it's cheap for a few reasons. And this is my personal opinion, why is it so cheap? Though the keys are touch sensitive, 
Um, they're very plasticky. They move. And you can actually hear the keys. And as you play them, let me turn it down. So the whole thing is very plasticky feel. Unfortunately, that's one of the things that trying to play here professionally, it, it's just not really possible. You can't put emotions into the keys um, you, because emotions and feelings rely on your touch sensitivity. Um, unfortunately, this keyboard doesn't support it. For live, it's perfect. It does not matter. But when you are trying to record with it in a studio environment or even in a home studio environment, it really, really feels cheap plastic. And everything else is plastic anyway. Now, the second thing why I think it's really cheap, even though it comes with 50 uh, Oriental or uh, Arabic Middle Eastern rhythms and another uh, 200 other rhythms in here, they sound really, really um, cheap. They don't have dynamics. They don't have um, that quality in them. They are, I assume, PCM sampled sound. Um, it just sounds like a Casio. Unfortunately, that is my personal opinion. It just sounds like a Casio. And I have had many keyboards varying from $350 to all the way to $5,000 keyboards and in ranges. Um, and you can really hear the difference. Again, as you will hear later on, for live performance, it, sh it will not matter as much. But for recording environment, personally, I think it does. Same with the sounds. Now, the general MIDI sounds are not bad. They are listenable. But when you go into the Arabic and the Oriental, and the Middle Eastern sounds, they sound so cheap and unrealistic that I would not be able to use them in uh, recording production. And this is what my studio is. It's a recording studio. And I purchased this um, for arrangement purposes, hoping that the sounds will be good. But unfortunately, the sounds are too cheap, too plasticky sounding for me. <laughs> They're very brittle and very sharp. Um, and it just really doesn't hold the value of the, the instrument they are trying to represent. So if those things don't bother you for the $350 to have this uh, under your fingers, it's, it's more than a bargain. It's just amazing for you to be able to sit down, um, choose a rhythm, choose the sounds, layer them, arpeggiate them, um, even at quarter tone settings, if uh, Middle Eastern is your style of music that you uh, want to play, or even fusion with uh, Middle Eastern and Western music, just fusion it together. If you want to do that, that is fine. C connect your microphone and record it and record ideas um, and new songs and arrangements. It is fantastic. You just cannot be for the price that you pay. Um, if that's the case, then I would highly recommend it. Not sure, uh, it's still available in Australia to purchase. Um, not sure if you can purchase them in the rest of the world. But if you are chasing it, I would highly recommend um, as an overall does everything keyboard. Of course, of course, the quality of the price, it matches. So I hope that uh, helps you out. Now, to leave you, I'm going to play the demo songs so you can have a listen to what the demos sound like, what it sounds like, and you can judge it yourself. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, they will prompt me to make further videos of the unit um, in case you have any questions. If you do want me to play some of the sounds and the rhythms, um, I can organize that and do that. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure you give me the thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. And I'll leave you with them.
Thank you.